Roski, I fuck yeah. with him, man. Hey, Rock, I fuck with you, man. Yeah. Believe that, man. Yeah. This motherfucker told me, say, man, come on, man. It's like a, you gonna get this motherfucker flipped. <laughs> Queen flipped the motherfucker interview before me. I'm a real nigga, man. You can't do that. Fuck you doing? I said, you know what? You got that, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you yeah. got that, man. I respect <laughs> that, man. You got locked up for at the time. In 92? Yeah, like the, the, the time. I went for murder. Not the ice cream. Bro. Nah, I went for another murder in 92. I came home. I got logged up in 87. I came home in 88. Yeah, maybe a year, a couple months later, and went back in in 92. Around that time, right, that 1990, that's when all, like, the bodies was really dropping in D.C. It was crazy around that time. I just pray constantly for all the children. I do. God has helped them because they're trying to destroy themselves. Approximately 33-year-old black male. He's been shot three times, has shot three times. It's like living in a war zone. You hear gunfire every night. We're scared. The saying in Washington these days is that D.C. doesn't stand for District of Columbia, but for Dodge City. All of us are uh, appalled. We are agonizing about it. We don't like the fact that we had 372 murders last year. Washington is now the murder capital of America, and possibly the drug capital, too. The district has about 625,000 residents. Every year, it arrests about 21 drug suspects for every 1,000 residents. In New York, the number is only 12 per 1,000. In Los Angeles, it is 10 per 1,000. Tell us, like, how that time was, because, you know, WP was out there. They whole team was doing their thing, and then you had, you know... Other dudes, some like the, the, the 21st, the Kennedy boys was over there doing their thing out there, the Kennedy Street boys and them. They was doing their thing. Frey, they was, they was saying, yo, Frey was coming back in the game at that time. You know what I mean? Because Frey was not, he was coming, trying to get back in the game and he was putting pressure on old boy. So I know that the, the, the streets was crazy around that time. That's when a lot of bodies were dropping. You got all the gangsters mm -hmm. like that on. Yeah. You know they serious. You know what I mean? And all of them competing for the throne, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. who gonna be, who gonna be the strongest? Who gonna be, and who gonna be the weakest? You know what I mean? Like, so you saying, and you watching, and you just like, man, I want to see who can take out who, or who's stronger than who back then. So mm -hmm. it was like, you gotta, you gotta be, a, in order to, man, you know, get to that throne, man, that everybody's, you know, they fighting for, you got to be one of the motherfuckers, man, that you know, you can't, you can't go for nothing. You can't go for nothing, and you can't, you can't play no game. So, you know, when Frey was trying to get back in the game, he was in the game amongst some youngest man that was um, they was they was hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just like, you know, what I mean, if I gotta, I gotta be able to man get to that throne, man. Right? I gotta be able to be sit on that throne. I gotta be able to be the king of DC, man. And um, this old niggas in the way. Old niggas yeah. is washed up right now. So you try to get back in the game and you 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 not you, you not gonna do the shit that them youngers gonna do. You got a team of motherfuckers that might do it. But once a motherfucker mm -hmm. cut the head off the beast, the body gonna fall. So if you the only yeah. one you you trying to apply pressure towards you trying to apply pressure on motherfuckers that apply pressure. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. but you ain't you ain't built like that no more. You might have been built like that when you was a teenager, but you older. And you yeah. really in the way for real. So my folks looking at Frey like, hey, come on, son. Like, you trying to get you trying to get into the extortion game though. You you a hustler. Why are you trying to extort my son? Yeah. You ain't that ain't that ain't your element. That's not your element right there. So man, come on, man. Like you you getting in the way now. So my folks like, oh no, man. Frey trying to do too much, man. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. It, it got ugly for him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how was your relationship with um with Tony? With Tony, Tony Lewis. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't meet Tony on the street. I didn't, uh, I didn't have a relationship with Tony. You know what I mean? Okay. Tony, um, Tony was a different. He was, he moved different than Ray. You know what I mean? Ray mm -hmm. back then, Ray was my man. Tony was um Tony come out of Cornell's crew. 
Who's your relationship with Big G, man? Cause you know Big G is a real legend out there, DC man. You know, I, I, you know, I don't know about the story where he he like had like two rival crews came together at a go go. Like he 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 really like a real respected dude in DC man. When it was my uncle, I was with my uncle. When it was Marlo, I was with him. But now, nigga. What the fuck you do that for? Now we short the nine. That was for Joe. I'm gonna say this, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have no. I know who Big G is. You know who I am, right? You know. Yeah. Big G is a go-go lesson. Yeah. It's a difference. Let's be clear about it, right? Because he's yeah. not really no street legend. He's a go-go legend, right? I give him that. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some things about Big G, man, that um that came across my desk, man, that that may be, you know, put him in a in a category of being questioned. Oh, okay. You know I mean? Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Some things with um he got into a situation, man, where he got shot. And okay. it was he supposed to gave up information on you know, allegedly gave up information on the guys that shot him. I don't know. Did people ever get killed by calling someone a snitch? Yeah, if it if it wasn't true. One thing I'm not gonna do, man, is say what I I haven't saw, or I'm Understood. not gonna put a bone on nobody. I don't want to spread this bone or nothing on them without mm -hmm. without having the facts and support it, right? Like I'm not a third party spreader. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna spread never say, oh yeah, such such told me this. Mm -hmm. But this is just what I heard. I don't know. In that regard, I kind of like not allow myself to get close to snuff. Because I don't want nobody to be able to say, man, Slim, you knew, I told you, you know what I mean, and you still, you know what I mean. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know do like that, you know what I mean. I know um, a couple of my my motherfucking partners, they know who he is. They've been dealing with him in that go go shit for a minute. But I was locked up, so mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But other than that, you know, when I do see him, it's it's it's, it's always love. He show he show love and he show respect. To me, you know what I mean, whenever you see me. But um I still choose the man uh not allow myself to get too close to him. You know what I mean? A guy from Kennedy Street named Benny Lee Lawson. If they call somebody a snitch and that person was no snitch, he gonna put that work in fuck Marlo, fuck this fucking war, all this beef over a couple of fucking corners. Don't matter who did what to who at this point. Fact is, we went to war, and now there ain't no going back. I mean, shit, it's what war is, you know? <laughs> Once you in it, you in it. Demencio got killed. Now, that was your man's, you know what I'm saying? And I, I want to know, like, how would, how, how, how it really happened the way it happened. Like Demencio was a situation where he really disrespected himself, and he disrespected other people. And that's why that happened to him. Okay. Yes. He thought he was, he thought he was tougher than what he really was. But I ain't play with them Brooklyn dudes. You ain't play with them? Nah, nah. I ain't, I ain't. They were cool. I had some cool ones that came up out of Brooklyn. But I just always remembered as a kid how Brooklyn used to like to rob you and all that. Right, right. How they was always known for for robbing you. So that that, that kind of like stuck with me in my time. But I met some, I met some cool, getting money dudes out of Brooklyn without a doubt. Okay. Who hit him? My man, that was down with. What time? Not Wayne, but the, the kids that was up on the Wayne. Wayne didn't have, Wayne, too many people knew him as far as right there, so we, we got one of his little soldiers to hit him. But I was shaking his hand, I gave him, I told him, I said, when you see me shaking his hand, I nod my head, you hit him right, you hit him right. You never feared that one of the bullets would slip off and maybe hit you? No, you know, I didn't care about that, I didn't. I was shaking his hand, it was enough where, because they walked right up on him. I mean, it wasn't no, like, from a distance, as I was shaking his hand, they walked right on him and put the gun right to his forehead and blasted him. When Domicio got hit, they still, they still was playing ball right after, like when 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 he got hit, or they, cause I, I heard the story like they was playing ball when when dude shook his hand, 
the dude hit him from behind, and then they was continue to play ball. Lou left them. Like they was continue, or they they just stopped. Everybody just ran out the park, and they just left the miss still there. I, like I said, I was locked up when it happened, right? I, I, I didn't know. I heard that too. I heard that they was um they they, they went back to playing basketball, and Lou left. Lou ran. I would tell the dude the whole time how, man, we had, um, I had a different kind of upbringing, man, you know, than, than most, most youngest. You know what I mean? The very first time I went to New York was with Lou Hobbs at Domencio. You know what I mean? I was explaining to him, like I said, how you took me under your wing, man, and you showed me a lot, man. I, I learned a lot, man, that's for sure at Yo, that shit go without saying. You're our little bro, yo. Yeah. The situation that happened with Dementio, did you know it came from that direction back in the days or you learned about it later on? Nah, I, I'm i glad you you, you you brought that up, right? Because um, when Dementio got killed, I was locked up. And um, I had heard bits and pieces of what happened. I didn't know that the hit came from Pope, if it came from Pope. You know what I mean? I just heard that Wayne. I just kept hearing Wayne name. I heard like he came to the park, and before that, you know, because I was watching the documentary, you know, the way the shit went down, it should have never went down the way it did, man. It was, it was some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Behind that, you know what I mean? I was I was locked up at the time, man. I was uh I was over the jail at the time when it happened, and uh mm -hmm. I was on my way home. Actually, I was on my way home and shit. I had um I had probably came home. Probably maybe three weeks, maybe a month after that, right? And mm -hmm. um, what, what I had got when it first happened, that was about a bra. It was about Poe's wife or some shit. Demetrio disrespected his wife and told his wife, fuck you, go tell your man. I said, fuck him too, bitch. You know, mm -hmm. Some type of shit. But, you know, everything that I heard about this dude, this dude, mm -hmm. uh, what's that nigga name? Alberto Martinez. Yeah. Alberto, everything I heard about Alberto, you know, Alberta, I'm gonna call him. You know what I mean? It was, um, <laughs> was, um, yeah. it was a whole lot of it was a whole lot of fuckboy shit when he always, man, uh, you know, wanna wanna do something to a motherfucker about a female, man. You know what I mean? Like if the female yeah. chooses another nigga, she ain't really with you. She don't give a fuck about yeah. you if she chooses yeah. somebody else. What you mad at her for? I mean, what you mad at the man for? Be mad at her. You know what I mean? Yeah, so every sir. motherfucker dude that he had an issue with up here in D.C. was about a fucking bra, man. Damn. About a fucking female, man. This dude is a real definition of a tender dick motherfucker. Somebody said it, and I'm yeah. like, I couldn't agree with it better. Yo, hey, real, yo, man. yo, your man, your man is, we said <laughs> the same <laughs> shit. Man. So in that interview that you spoke about with the, with the FBI detective Dan O'Reilly, when he spoke about when I went to go see Wayne when he was up in Marlboro, when I went up there, I went up there and asked him about that situation with Demencio. And um he, he he threw some names out there. You know what I mean? What the what the detective said in the interview that me and Wayne discussed on a visit, that was that was false. That ain't that conversation never happened. You know what I mean? But we talked about D. And he threw some names out there about D, what happened to D. And um, you know what I mean, I did my own investigating. You know what I mean? To see what I could find. And, um, yeah. Hey, Lou, say, tell me again, man, how when, when, when moms made me them pancakes and Demisio was mad as on the work and she ain't make him mad. You, you gonna come on my house, Come stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. You yeah. cook over here. <laughs> yes, no. Hey, listen. When, when your girl, when your girl grabbed that Mac off the dresser, man, and ran out that door behind you, bro, I'm like, show that gangster this shit. Hey, we were young. Yeah. That's how we were doing. You said, this how they do it down here? Yeah. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Hey, oh, my God. Yeah, man, I miss yeah. the things, man. That's how they do it, man, boy. So I talk to Luke. I mean, I still talk to Lou to this day, right? And I never yeah. asked him that. And I never yeah. asked him that question for real because I fucks with Lou so tough. Right? I fucks with Lou like a brother, man. Yeah. As well as I fucks with Demencio. And 
Yeah. I don't, I, for real, for, I don't think I want to hear the answer to that question from Lou. I feel you. I mean, because if he did run, that's going to make me look at Lou a totally different light, man. I, 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 yeah. I don't, I kind of like, I don't want to know for real. Yeah. I heard that yeah. shit, I don't want to yeah. ask you that question because, man, if he told me he ran me, left him, ah, why would you leave him like that? Why would you do that shit, man? When you ain't go to yeah. the side, you ain't try to see if you can revive him. You ain't try to, like, you ain't see nothing. You just left him. Yeah, no, I feel what the you. Fuck? You, just left, you ain't try to give him no help. What the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I don't want to ask that question. I, I really don't want to hear the answer because I, I don't want to fuck man some relationship up that way. Yeah. But the name that Alpo said was it the name that you found out when you was in, when you came home? The name that because Alpo talked about it, right? He talked about it in the interview that dementia was too big for his bridges or something like that. He thought he was bigger than what he was. Right. When he when he, when he was asked about it. And I don't know if he said who did it, but did you find out who did it? Because I remember they were trying to blame one of Demencio's mans at the time because he was with Demencio or something like that. Something they, they thought that somebody did Lou. it. Or... They say they say Lou had something to do with it and Lou left him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I'm going to say this, right? I f*** with Lou from the heart. Like, Lou like a brother to me. I still communicate with Lou right now to the day. And I don't want to believe that about Lou because it's going to make me look at Lou totally different it's gonna make me feel different about him because i love d like a brother you know what i mean and if you knew that this was gonna happen or if you left him for dead the way they say you left him dead i'm gonna feel some kind of way about that man so i don't want to believe that shit, right so i haven't had this conversation with lou yet i was telling gully tv man how you know i was born into the game at a young age man i seen a lot of money young you know what i mean like i was giving opportunities I was given opportunities from from guys like you, Demencio, L.A. Roy. Yeah, how how are Lou doing anyway, man? Because I, I heard, you know, you had called Lou up on a gully joint, man. How gully gully my dude, right? But I don't think he was prepared, man. I don't think. Because there was a lot of things that I was I was waiting for him to ask me. He didn't. I'm like, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't really ready, man. How Lou doing, man? He had um, cancer. You know what I mean? So oh. he, went to, he was in Butner for, um, for therapy, man. He went through the chemo and all that shit. So he's supposed to... This shit's supposed to be in remission or something. Yeah. And, uh, he wrote me. He wrote me. I got a letter in there from him. I got a letter in there from him right now that he wrote me. And I didn't get a chance to write him back. But, um, yeah. As far as I know, he good, man. He good. They, they, they trying to let him out? They trying to let him out, Sean? Or they, they trying to keep him in there? Lou, you know, Lou went through a time in his bit, man, where he kind of like, he kind of was losing it a little bit, you know what I mean? He was kind of losing his marbles a little bit, man. And um, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't fighting no more. So when remember Obama was giving out them pardons, he could have got it. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't apply for the shit because he kept saying, "Nah, I'm good, I'm good." My lawyer won't give him like, man, look, apply for this pardon, man, because Obama giving it out to nah, I'm violent defenders, man, and you qualify for this shit. So he didn't yeah. apply, and he lost out on it. So then yeah. when. Now that Trump is, is doing it, now he want to try to like get, he want to try to get back that way, man. But one of the things he always talk about, I don't, I only want to hit his shit is he, he bring a Mike Tyson a lot. Yeah, man, these home, man. I'm definitely coming. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll be there. So I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get dudes a few pictures of you and Mike Tyson, man, so he can man, uh, he can throw up on the dock, man. One of the things he always talk about, and I don't, I only want to hit his shit is he, he bring a Mike Tyson a lot. I respect how I respect how Mike kept it real with you, man. Throughout your bit, man. Hell yeah, I just go to Indiana. Yeah, I know that's your man. The motherfucker, man, I'm flying to Cuba. I went to the motherfucker. The minute he said, "Yo, I'm coming home this day," I called Peter. I called Peter and told Peter, "Yo, Mike, you ain't come home, motherfucker. I don't want nothing. I just want to get my shit done this month." That's crazy. And Teddy Riley, you know, they, they, them as men, so, and they fuck yeah. with him tough. So he always like, yeah, Teddy Riley gonna make sure he good. So when I was in the, you know, in the process, you know, I was looking for, 
you know, an investor, man, for the budget for the film, from turning my book into a film, you know, mm -hmm. he had me call Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley sold me all these dreams, man. Yeah, I'm going to plug you in. I'm a, I, I got you. I'm going to look out for yeah. you. I ain't heard shit from Tally Riley since, you know what I mean? But I, I kind of, I knew that it was, it wasn't going, it wasn't going to work out because Tally Riley not in the film business. You in the music, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, if you want to invest, mm -hmm. you want to help me out with a budget so I can get this shit started, get this project started, cool. But I know mm -hmm. that that's not, his, that's not, his, that's not his field right there. Yeah, you know what I mean, so he probably like I'm not trying to take a chance on what I don't know about or what I'm not into. What's the story though that you heard that Lou with that, that the part that Lou might have played? I, no, hold on, this is allegedly. First and foremost, I don't. I'm not saying anything as far as like I'm just saying we saw the documentary. Right. Um, they did cut some names out, but when we talked about it with Demencio, I, I remember um him saying that somebody was being blamed. Lou, they tried to blame Lou because Alpo, I guess, called Demencio's mom and sent flowers, and then people were saying because Lou. Left him. Came home when I heard what right. happened. You know, I had um, I immediately went to see Wayne. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I immediately went to see him. And um, but Slim never knew. He never knew my relationship with with, with D. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I asked him, man, Slim, what the fuck happened down there? Can you play? He's like, man, man, he told me the little dude named nah, Diddy. Man, nah, I ain't do that. I did that. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. I'm like, damn. He said, like, yeah, I was started where he said, man, yeah, you know. Pope put a cup of his hand and uh gave him, they saw the green light, like, yeah, how that? And Shorty, you know, he jumped out there and did it. Mm -hmm. And Shorty ended up getting this motherfucker added cleaned out later. Damn. What's the story that you heard at that time? The story I heard was that um Wayne did it. You know what I mean? I found I heard later that Wayne did it because Poe wanted him out of the way because Demisio was getting too big for his britches in the cities. You know, as he put it, but um, so when I went to, like I said, when I went to go see Wayne, Wayne denied it. You know what I mean? He told me, man, it was somewhere else. You know what I mean? And the little dude that he told me that um, actually did it, did it for Poe. It wasn't him. Like it wasn't me. You know what I mean? It wasn't me. It was this other person. He did it because of Poe wanted wanted him out of the way. So um, like I say, man, I end up doing my own investigation, and I end up. You know what I mean? Going in for that little dude's um uh murder. So I they questioned me about that later. So that dude died. Yeah. The dude that shot Demencio, yeah. He got killed. Right. And you got questioned for it. Right. You know, it's a lot of dudes, man, be they be they be asking about you on Instagram, man. They be asking to hear from you because people be like, man, you know, they don't hear too much from Lou Hobbs no more. You know what I mean? So Nah, cause I don't be fucking with nobody. I only fuck with the family now, homie. Yeah. So they don't get no calls. The family definitely gonna know. But them dudes don't be hearing from me because, you know? Yeah. They don't they don't they ain't got I talked to I told the Teddy, I talked to Mike. And I think I call you and I don't call a bunch of money dudes, you know what I'm saying? Let's call from a federal prison. Real street dudes and none of that. Yeah. Because I, I get all my information. Might be telling me, be like everybody up. Because opportunity out there, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'll be just saying, all right, I'm going to wait my turn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I haven't had this conversation with Lou yet. I don't want to ask that question. I, I really don't want to hear the answer because I... I don't want to fuck me and Slim relationship up that way. You got to definitely mm -hmm. say free Lou Hobbs, man. Let's get Lou yeah. Hobbs home, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Man. Free real. Free Lou Hobbs, man. All the other real men, man. Straight up. You, heard, you first heard about Alpo in prison, you said. Right. Right? And nah, then, nah. I didn't, I didn't first hear about him in prison. Pop told me about him in prison that he needed some help. But I knew, I heard about Poe through Lou and Demisio before Poe even got here. What did they say about him? You know, they was they was telling me not to fuck with him. They like, man, as a guy gonna come to your town there, Alpo, man, he hit. If you if you ever run across him, don't fuck with him. He's a snake, he ain't to be trusted. You know what I mean? And mm. I and I learned later on that the reason why they said that is because of a situation where Alpo was overhearing some Spanish guys talking in Spanish about some work, and Poe came back and double backed on him and, 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 and robbed him. 
supposed to have been his friends or whatever. I don't know. Did you ever meet him, Alpo? Nah, but we um we never got a chance to get that close, Understood. you know what I mean, to each other because um and I'm pretty sure Wayne told him about me. Cause whenever I came around, Poe would get on either on his motorcycle or in his car and burn rubber. He would get the f away from me. Whenever I came around. How you feel about Alpo running the streets right now? How you feel about that, man? Alpo, man, they um they branded this dude so well, right? With um with this movie paid in full, man, and um all these other all these other interviews and all this shit, man, and they, they glorified him to the point, man. They kinda made this dude, you know, a celebrity in a way. You know what I mean? And a lot of youngers, man, they they hear about the, the stories, man, you know, the money that he got, the work that he may have put in, or whatever, whatever, man, and they they idolize that shit and they look past the rap shit. Some of them. You know what I mean? This is what I believe, my personal opinion. I believe they look past the rap shit because, you know, other movie paid in full. They, but I'm struggling. I'm, you know, I'm fighting. I'm, you know, digging my claws in the surface trying to get a movie out about my story. And here it is. I'm getting all this resistance. You know what I mean? But they yeah. put the put these stories out about these rats. They kind of put them on a level now of a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, but the street dudes, man, that um, from that era in time, man, they're still walking around. If they are embracing this dude, man, then they got their principles got to be checked too, because man, you mm. if you come out that era and you you say you was about that business and you you lived your life according to certain rules and ethic codes and and things of that nature, man, and you still see this dude and you ain't trying to. You know, a lot of them old dudes from that era, they ain't trying to do nothing because them niggas ain't trying to go to jail. Them niggas too old to go to jail, man. You know what I mean? Them niggas mm -hmm. not trying to do no motherfucker bit. You know what I mean? So they say, fuck it, man. Mm -hmm. Like, leave that shit to the younger, the younger generation to handle. And the younger generation they ain't going to do it because they're like, fuck that. This nigga, this y'all situation. <laughs> right? Y'all situation. They're not doing that shit for y'all, nigga. Fuck that. So that's why yeah. these niggas ain't able to walk around the streets of Harlem that way because the older niggas that come out there earn time, the niggas ain't trying to do nothing, man. They ain't trying yeah, to do nothing. The they, and if Alpo here, them exactly. niggas try to do something, he probably get something done to them. Who knows? Wayne, Wayne still got a lot of love in the city. You know what I'm saying? And um, Tank got a lot of love in the city still. You know what I mean? Gary got a lot of love in the city. You know what I mean? So it's like you, he, he would never know where it comes from, where it's going to come from. He would never know. So if he was to try to, you know, yeah. put his footprints on his in his in his in his, in his pavement again in, in Washington, and motherfuckers in the streets here, they here, they gonna get, they gonna start looking for him. They gonna look for him, man. They gonna look for him, man. They gonna, they gonna until they find his ass, man. They gonna put his ass in, in, in the dirt. There was a story about him getting um, attacked in D.C. Um, why did they attack him? Were they hating on him? I'm not so sure. I, I know it's a couple of incidents I heard about that um that um Poe got got attacked, got dudes try to get at him. I got shot because they was trying to kidnap me in DC. I wound up getting hit that day. You wound up getting hit? Yeah, I wound up getting hit in my ribs. The only thing that saved me, like I said, the only thing that saved me that day, because I was going to get this girl. The only thing that saved me that day was that as I'm talking to this dude, mm -hmm. he looks over my shoulder. And when he looked over my shoulder, I followed his eyes. And when I followed his eyes, I seen about four dudes coming to try to grab me. Okay. And I start running. Next thing I know, I feel bullets and all that coming past my head and hitting off the wall and all that. And one caught me in the ribs. That's when you figured, hey, put Wayne Perry in effect. Yeah. One dude was jawbreaker. Try to get at Poe and uh, Titus. Try to get at him. So them are the only two incidents I heard about when somebody really tried to get at Poe. Poe. Was he flashy in D.C. as he was in New York? Was he a flashy guy? I mean, I don't, I don't know how he was in New York, right? But he, um, you know, Poe would come through. He got the big boy whips. He got the, the cars that, you know, other hustlers in D.C. They recognize this. Oh, damn, let's drop the bag on that. He got the NXX, the Aqua, the, the Mercedes SL convertible. You know what I mean? He got his little man, Big Hit Gary, the same car. You know, so they, you know, they flexing around the city. You know what I mean? So my recognized him and knew that he was getting money you know what i mean so he, he was he was kind of flashy you know what i mean he had his jewelry on and go to clubs and you know do his thing but 
You know what I mean? That was him.